Having your models at real world scale is a good idea to keep everything consistent. It's also good for things like rigging and simulations. The Scale Master plugin is amazing for setting up real world scale. In this example, I'll create a bounding box that will be used to find the scale of our model, but you can scale base off an individual subtool if you prefer. With the subtool selected, click Set Scene Scale. Now select the scale that best resembles your model. I tend to just look at the Y value for height, and in this case, 200 centimeters is closest. Now I can change this Y value to be the exact height I want my bounding box to be and click Resize Subtool, making sure all is toggled on. Now if you export using the Export to Unit Scale button, everything will work as expected. But if like me you want to use the Go Z function, this value will actually get converted to the value you see here, which is basically the millimeter equivalent. Now you can read more about why that is by clicking the Scale Master button, but it just means that if you want to use GoZ, you need to set whatever unit size you're using in the GoZ app in millimeters. So in Blender, the default unit size is set to meters. So if we set our model to 1.5 millimeters, the model will import at 1.5 meters. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that thumbs up button. Peace.